Well, as scandals go, this surely is a minor one. The allegation is or the perceived excess is that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak took a plane to travel from London 200 miles to Leeds to attend an event at a National Health Service facility. And the complaint is that he took the flight rather than taking a train. And this, of course, is an allegation uh, leveled against him on the basis that this was a waste of money, a waste of resources, that this was extravagant. Another allegation is that uh, this was not uh, emissions friendly, that uh, Rishi Sunak and the British government is committed to zero emissions and that this is setting a bad example. And another allegation is that, well, this expresses a lack of faith in public transportation. The word from Downing Street is quite simple, that he is a man in a hurry, that he has a lot to do. As the Prime Minister, he's expected to be busy and tight on time. And this was simply a more efficient way to travel. All sorts of calculations are followed. It took about 36 minutes to take the flight to Leeds, 37 minutes on the return flight. The train would have taken two and a half hours on the other side. There's an allegation that the train would have been much cheaper. But really, all of these allegations uh, do not seem to have a great deal of validity. It's far from unusual for a prime minister or the leader of any country to cover a distance of 200 miles for an official event by plane rather than take a train or travel by road. At the bottom of it is this perception that Rishi Sunak is extravagance. That's a label that's stuck to him and does not seem to go away. His suit, his shoes, his swimming pool, uh, uh, hire of a helicopter earlier to attend a conservative dinner. That was, of course, privately funded. But the idea remains and the image remains that he is too rich to be in touch with the people. Whatever the facts, that idea and that image does not seem to go away.